Hi! In this video, we're going to give you an overview of the woven spirals bowl pattern. Now, to make the bowls, and here's the size bowl that you would make, you are going to use Craftex Plus. It's a double-sided fusible, uh, stiff interfacing, so the bowl comes out very stiffly. You're going to cut two squares according to the pattern direction, and then you're going to fuse fabric to both sides of that square. Now, if you imagine this is a square, and you're fusing fabric to both sides. So you'll do that on uh, both squares. So then what you'll do after you fuse your fabric, now you can use just uh, two fabrics if you want to and fuse the same fabric to both sides, or you can use four fabrics. Then you're going to take the template in the pattern, trace it on freezer paper, and then I uh, cut it out and then iron that uh, shape onto your squares. Cut that out, and then you need to finish your edges. Now, in this uh, bowl, I finished the edges by going over it several times. And on this one, if you can see, I've only done one set of zigzag stitching around the edges or satin stitching around the edges. Uh, you can't use a serger on this because a serger will cut the, the V right there between your arms and you don't want that. So use your regular domestic sewing machine and you're going to zigzag stitch. So once you have your zigzag stitches all done, you're going to take um, these shapes and you're going to place them so that the arms are going in opposite directions. Then to make sure it's in the right spot, you're just going to go around and lock the bottoms of the arms, or the armpits as I call it, go all the way around and lock the bottom of the arm just to make sure those arms are in the right spot. You'll know because you'll be able to see a space between them if the arms aren't in the right spot. So get it as close as you can. Now to weave them, you're simply going to fold two sets of your, your arms up, like that, just fold them up. Then you're going to weave in your pieces. Now you're gonna start with uh, two sets, and then you're going to weave in the third set. So you'll weave that in, and then when you get to the top, match the tops so that the top edges of each arm are even and clip it. Go to the next one, weave it in so that the top edges of the arms match and clip. Weave in the next one so the top edges of the arms match and clip. Whoop. I'm going to do one more. Using these clover clips makes this fairly easy. So weave in under, over, and under, and clip. So you can see how the bowl is starting to weave. Now notice how I have some holes here. To tighten up those holes, you simply unclip and slide the tops so that there's a little V on each end, or a little triangle on each end. And then you'll tighten it up, clip it, and then you'll overlap those Vs right there, if you can, or overlap those triangles. That tightens up those holes so that you can't see them anymore, if you can see that. To finish off the bowl, the next thing that you're going to do is you can slide this in under your um, uh, free arm and stitch it, but you don't have very good control over keeping those top edges together. So what I recommend is to hand stitch them and you're simply going to hand stitch in and out, in and out, 
And as you come out this time, you're going to put a button on and then continue in and out, in and out, put your button on, in, out, in, out, very, very close to the top edge of your, your bowl. Once you finish that, you're all done.